we hung out all the time at the local air park and I got to hang out with flying people, which really kind of got into my blood. My, my dad shared his passion he had for flying and our whole family spent time out there with him. And so I knew somewhere along the way I was going to do something with flying. And when it came time to choose which school I wanted to go to after graduating from high school, I was really, really fortunate that the local community college at the time, St. Pete, St. Petersburg Junior College, which was uh, in my neighborhood, had this really neat program called Aviation Administration. And as part of that, you could earn your private pilot's license. And that really set me up nicely to go on to university where I decided to study aeronautical engineering because I thought, wow, you know, I want to fly and ended up at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. And it ended up being the best choice I think I could have ever made. It really, I think, was one of the things that set me up best for what I ended up doing later. I have a master's degree as well from the University of Central Florida and that is really an industrial engineering based degree. When I started working at Kennedy Space Center after graduating from school, um, I was with a group of young folks, young engineers who were brought into the shuttle program and what our management at the time discovered was that a lot of us didn't have any real like project management background um, that went, you know, a, a lot of engineering schools at the time didn't incorporate that into the curriculum. And I was fortunate because Embry-Riddle had done that, but our, um, our management decided to work with the University of Central Florida and put together a very, very kind of um, uh, focused program that allowed us to get this project management um, experience. And they offered me a job uh, here at Johnson Space Center in aircraft ops, flying on this really cool, air, cool airplane called the shuttle training aircraft that basically simulated what the, the landing profile of the shuttle would be. And after two years of doing that job, they had another astronaut selection, was, was very fortunate. I actually feel blessed, again, pinch myself kind of stuff to have been selected in 2000. My first flight assignment was to a long duration space flight and that was for Expeditions 2021. They kind of overlapped in the time frame I was going to be there. And when I flew that first, that first mission, I went up on a shuttle and came down on a shuttle. So I flew up on STS-128, which was a discovery flight, and a little over three months later came home on Atlantis, STS-129. To be parts of those crews was, was really important to me. I think I did a good job while I was up there, so I'm, I'm thankful for that, to have actually maybe added some value <laughs> while I was there.